What's going on everybody? Captain26 here and for today's episode I'm going to be installing some of the goodies I got earlier. I've got a new rear view mirror, a new shift knob to replace the factory one that's all worn out, some exhaust hangers. I might be able to get to those right now. Um, see how much time I have. If not, I'll do them on the lift when I do the transmission oil. Air freshener. Let's freshen up the car a little bit, and then in here, I've got the uh, the O-rings, which I'm hoping will work for the um, uh, the dipstick, so it won't blow off anymore whenever I'm hitting uh, wide open throttle and, and uh, max boost. So we're going to go ahead and give these a shot. I'm going to work on this first, so we're going to pop the hood. I'm going to pull the dipstick out. i got some needle nose pliers. I'll remove the old O-rings and try to see if... Uh, if any of these fit. So I got some different sizes. So we'll try that out and then uh, we'll come back in. I'll do the shift knob, rear view mirror, and then maybe try to get underneath to do the, uh, the exhaust hangers. So stay tuned and let's go pop the hood. So in my maintenance video I put up the other day, I talked about how I had a uh, puddle of oil in the garage and you can actually see it right here. So I was a little freak, a little freaked out and uh, I was doing some inspection on the engine. Sure enough, I found the dipstick kind of sitting out like that. And I went on the forums, did some research, and I guess these O-rings right here kind of wear out over time. And I mean, they're pretty much flush with the rest of the dipsticks. So I don't think they're doing any good, especially the fact since it just goes in and out, no problem. So I've got the O-rings here. I believe they're nine millimeter. So I'm gonna pull these off and we're gonna try to get some of these on there and hopefully it'll put the dipstick nice and snug back in here so it won't blow off next time. So I'm gonna grab my needle nose pliers and we'll pull off the, uh, the old O-rings. So go ahead and wipe the dipstick down. Alright, so there's one O-ring. The second o ring. All right, so what I should have done in the first place, which I was worried about, I read on the forum somebody said it was a nine millimeter o ring, and I took their word for it. So if you see this one, it's 8.8 .8 on the inner diameter, this one's 7.8. But you'll notice that the, uh, the smallest o ring I got is slightly larger than the one I just pulled off. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a shot. If not, I might have to step it down to a seven millimeter. I might have to make another run to the store. Hopefully not, so we'll see. I'll, I'll get these out and see if we can get them on. So, go ahead and give that a shot. Yeah, you can see it's a little loose on there. Might have to go for the seven millimeter. But I'll put both of them on and uh, put the dipstick in and see. How, Cause it might work, it might work, we'll see. All right, so they're both on. Nope. Just a tad too big. Yeah, we gotta force it in there. Yeah, those aren't gonna work. All right, so. Now I know when I go back. I should have done this ahead of time. But the uh, the store where I got them from is right down the street, so not a big deal. So we'll go ahead and skip that for now. I'll take my other vehicle and go and grab them. And then we'll get the 7mm uh, the back on. 
So now I'll go ahead and throw the, uh, the oversized mirror on here. Clips right on, really straightforward. So this is the before, and that is the after. So it literally just goes right over the, uh, the stock mirror. So moving along with our little modification day, go ahead and remove the stock shift knob. Should just twist off, they normally do. Lefty Lucy. All right, there's the stock knob. It actually has some pretty good weight to it. But as you can see, it's a little worn out. And I'm a firm believer that, you know, you should have a nice shift knob. It's technically the wheel and the shift knob are the two things you touch the most with your hands. I already went ahead and put a steering wheel cover on because I really like the stock Momo wheel and I don't want to replace it. Uh, the, the rubber on here is pretty worn out like the shift knob. But this cover covered it up real nice. And then I took some armor all and cleaned up the wheel. So it looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and get the aftermarket shift knob on. So here are the two shift knobs side by side before they go on. Uh, height wise, the new one's a little bit shorter, just a tad bit. And weight, they're about they're about the same, I would say. I didn't realize the stock one was so heavy. So all we gotta do is, yeah, we gotta put the little adapter. Which I have two of them right here. So that goes right on. Too easy, there's a new shift knob. Just like my old GTR. So, I'll probably be replacing this here soon. I don't think I can source one locally. I'll, I'll give it a shot. I really just want a black one. I don't care if it's suede or leather. But, sorry Pikachu, you're gonna be coming off here shortly. I'm um, thinking about maybe giving it away. I don't know if somebody who's watching the video wants it, might do, uh, I don't know, some sort of subscriber giveaway. We'll see, but this is definitely coming off here in the near future. Spencer, unless you're watching and if your wife wants it back, hook me up with your address and I'll ship it to you. But uh, this will be coming, coming off real soon. So that does it for the interior for the shift knob and the, uh, the rear view mirror. A little bummed out on the O-rings. Not too worried about it. I just have to make another trip to the store. Now the exhaust hangers, I'm going to crawl up underneath the car real quick. Might spray some WD-40 on these, lube them up a little bit. See if I can get the old ones off and, uh, and get these on. So let's go take a look at the exhaust. So currently, you guys can see the, uh, the exhaust hangers are a little worn out. So as I'm driving, I imagine this is what it looks like from behind the car. So once I start getting the car on the track, obviously this is going to be one. You know, I'm going to want this tightened up. So. Hopefully these hangers will fix it. So here's before. Get them on and we'll check after. See if you guys can see what I'm working with here. So I went ahead and got the one off the, uh, the exhaust bracket. I'm just trying to work this one off. Boom. So the hanger's off. So hopefully the new one will tighten it up and keep it nice and stiff. Alright, so the first step was to get it on the exhaust bracket. And now I just gotta work it on. I might have to put the camera down so I can put a little bit of elbow grease into it and a little bit of muscle. So the, uh, the hanger here is no match for WD-40. So I got that one on. And we're actually gonna work on getting this one on right here, because this is one, it's like a freaking rubber band. So I might have to hit it with a, uh, a socket wrench, maybe it looks like a 10 millimeter, to get that nut off. And that should come right off and then we'll get the, the new hanger on there. All right, so I removed the bolt, holding the exhaust up with a, maybe you'll see it, with a 12, mil, uh, 12 millimeter a wrench. Now we're just gonna work it off and get the new one on there. So here's the old hanger. 
super elastic. And this is the culprit. This is why the exhaust is swinging around right here. And here's a new one. This thing's rock solid. I'm gonna go ahead and lube it up, and then we're gonna get it in there and get the exhaust reconnected. And then we'll swing it in and see uh, how much movement it has. All right. So here are the, uh, the two old hangers. As you can see, they were way overdue for replacement. So we got those off. Here's the uh, the fitment for the exhaust now. That fitment is perfect. And then we'll go ahead and you can't even shake it. Awesome. Easy fix, under 20 bucks. So now the exhaust isn't gonna be swinging around every time I go over a bump or something. And it's pretty important because when I do start tracking it uh, on the autocross track, as I'm making sharp turns and everything, I don't want this exhaust to be swinging around, putting a lot of stress on the different joints and possibly snapping and falling off. So it should help it out. So that is it for today. I don't have time to go and get the, uh, the two O-rings. Uh, it'll probably be tomorrow, which I might include in this video, depending on how tonight goes with the birthday party and everything. So that might be in here. Um, but if not, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned for technically part two of the video. If I don't get it done, we will see. Uh, it's just two O-rings, super easy. And then I'll go take it out on the road, uh, smash a pedal down, uh, redline it, first through third gear and see if the uh, if the dipstick stays on. I'm hoping that's the fix. If not, it could be a bigger issue. It could be the rings, uh, which obviously I wouldn't want to happen. So hopefully it's a cheap fix. But in the meantime, I got three out of the four things done I wanted to this afternoon. So we'll see you on the next video.